feeling? Okay, how y'all doing? Y'all good? We are here for liberation. And we are not gonna get liberation sitting down. So I'm gonna need y'all to get up with me. Cause we are here for liberation. My name is Queen Jean. And I am here today for my trans liberation. Black trans liberation. I am so thankful to see y'all here today. Because as we know, the past two months has been an ongoing fight. We are warriors because this is not a moment, this is a movement. This is not a moment, this is a movement. Y'all could have been home, y'all could have been at the park picnicking, sun tanning, y'all could have even been in entanglement, y'all. <laughs> Message. But we are here today to fight because there is a problem in this country. Black trans people are being killed. It is beginning to feel like a genocide. Every week, three more sisters are killed. Trans men, trans women are killed. That is a problem. And I'm here today because I'm here to fight. But I need all of y'all to fight with me because this is not just a trans problem. This is our problem. This is our problem. And if it has not been your problem, well, baby, you are late to the game, so step up. Step up! Because trans folks out here are dying. My sister Raquel Willis has a mantra that she loves to say, and honey, I love to say it with her. She is not here, but please recite it with me. I believe in my power. I believe in my power. I believe in your power. I believe in your power. I believe in our power. I believe in our power. I believe in black trans power. I believe in black trans power. And Queen, she believes in black trans liberation. Yes. We are here today because it is now month two of this war. And it is not easy. But what I am saddened by is that it is now this Friday. Four trans people have been killed this week. Come on. Four trans people have been killed. But yet it is again that we find that their names are not being mentioned. They're not being spoke about. Their names and faces are not in our brain. We need them to be in our bloodstream because they are our family. We are always here to hold space and give reverence to Breonna Taylor because her family needs justice and we must get justice for her. Message. But we need justice for my trans sisters as well. We will not be waiting to get justice. We are demanding justice. Message. I am here because I am tired of black people making excuses. Oh, hold on, don't get quiet now. Don't get quiet now. I am tired when my black family continues to say, well, this is just a fad. Fuck your fad, bitch. Fuck it. Because you need to understand that I am a trans woman. Every granular bone in my body. I am trans and I am liberated. We will no longer accept nothing less than divine. I'm going to say that again. We will expect nothing less than divine. So to the men who are out here, I love to see it because I respect and I treasure, I treasure your support. Because I know it ain't easy. I know y'all homeboys and y'all homies back home be like, yo, man, you at that gay shit? Yeah, nigga, we at this gay shit. Because we are here for some gay shit. Message, we are here we are here for some liberation as well. So I'm gonna need y'all to continue fighting because let me tell y'all something. The homies, the people, the naysayers, our community members, right? Who we see in the church, who we see at the bus stop, at the bodega, who will make fun or snicker because y'all are going out here to fight. Let them know that we are here to fight because we are stronger than you. We will always be stronger than you. A black trans woman is stronger than a black man. I'm here to let them know. Because I am not defined by my
my genitalia. I am not limited by my genitalia. I am empowered. I'm gonna need y'all to get empowered too, to step the fuck up. Step the fuck up. Because it is time, it is time that we show up for each other. We have to show up for each other, not just the black people, but we need our allies, we need our co-conspirators. Hey, where the co-conspirators at? Are y'all in the building? Are y'all here? So I'm gonna need my co-conspirators to do me a favor. So next week, and tom actually tomorrow, tomorrow we are having a liberation march for black and brown sex workers in Times Square, five o'clock. So my co-conspirators, I need y'all to grab 10 co-conspirators and bring them with you. I know you got them in your phone. I know you have them on your media. Tell them to pull up because this fight is not over. We need more co-conspirators. We need more allies. I don't need you to stand beside me. I need y'all to step in front. Because black trans women are dying at an astronomical rate. But I will continue to fight because I know that I will want someone to fight for me. I will know that someone has fought for me because we are not gonna wait till our trans siblings are killed for us to give them their roses. We need roses now! Right now! It is imperative that y'all show up. You have to challenge not only yourself, but challenge the people who don't agree with us. People who feel like, oh, this is just something that's gonna go on. We'll be done next week. We ain't done! We are not done, and I am not tired yet. I'm not tired yet. I will be done when black trans people are privileged. I will be done when black trans people have entitlement. I will be done when black trans people can be in a White House. I'm going to say that again. I am will be done when trans people are in the White House. And when we get in the White House, we're changing that name. We're going to be calling it the President's Residence. Message. It'll be the president's residence on Black Lives Matter Avenue. Okay, come on, VP. Come on, y'all give it up for the VP. But I am really, I am so grateful that y'all are here because this is not the end. This is really just the beginning, y'all. We are gonna need this momentum, this fire, this passion, this energy each and every day. Because we know black trans people are dying every day. So we need to step in front and stop that shit from happening. It is our duty to fight. Because unless we are all liberated, y'all ain't liberated. I'm gonna say that again. Until we are liberated, y'all ain't liberated. And I wanna hold space today for love. Because love is something that we are that we don't get enough of. We don't have access to love. I'm gonna say that again. We don't have access to love. We are only met with injustice, discrimination, violence, trauma. That is what we are met with. So I challenge y'all to let's stop that. Let's dismantle that shit because we are now here to advocate and to give everyone access to love, especially black trans women. Because black trans women have fought. They always fight. They don't have a chance to, we have to fight. Cause honey, when we come outside, we are exposed to all kinds of trauma. Physical trauma, sexual trauma, verbal trauma. Verbal trauma is a, is a real bitch, y'all. Right? Because somebody is somehow bothered that I am in my fullness. Somebody is bothered that I am in my fullness and that I am unapologetically standing right here. Well, fuck you, nigga.